Okay, so we're at a position where we need to have a conversation about some doors for the house, or at least for the basement. Now, I've been putting this off for a while. Um, the reason being because I wasn't um, sure exactly which route I wanted to go down in terms of the doors. First, in terms of the colour and the finish, because I want all the doors to be the same throughout the house. Um, and if you do want to do that, then you need to consider how they will fit with the decoration of the rest of the house as well. And also, because I want to put in an additional um, partition where the cloakroom will be, I need a door to match. Now, I had a look and all three doors are the same. So there's supposed to be here two doors, one for the kitchen partition, one for the basement partition. And then there's a third door, which is the actual outdoor door. Um, that which leads you into the house into the basement bottom and I checked to see if there's any difference and all of the doors are exactly the same now I'll show you the doors because they're some of the most beautiful doors that I've ever seen in a kit and look at those look at the molding on there now I have never had a kit with that kind of detail of molding on the doors before as you know the you know you buy some doors and they've got a little tiny bit of molding and then you get the molding at the back that goes around the other side but not into that level of detail and i have searched high and low to see if i can find a fourth door and i can't find one anywhere that matches this so if you can point me in the right direction please comment below and let me know where you i can get another door um but for now i think what i'll do is those three doors that i have that are matching i'm going to use for the um, kitchen door, the basement door. When I say the basement, I mean like the entertaining cloakroom area. I'm really, yeah, that, that area. Um, and then the um, cloakroom door. So I'm gonna be missing a door for the front door. Now we decided if I wanted the doors to match and I couldn't possibly get another door like this, it would be better to have that for the cloakroom door because the, all the internal doors are matching then. And then to just have a bit of an odd one out, for the main front entrance door um because that's probably going to be better um in terms of in terms of how it will look so i'll show you the ideas i've got for what color painting i want to do on these okay so in terms of the paintwork you've probably seen some of this before because <laughs> um obviously this white that i absolutely love which is the crown satin white cream color that is the color that i'll be using um for pretty much all the whites in the house i don't want something that's very very bright i want something in keeping with the age of the house and that cream white if you can see there is a really lovely shade so that is going to be for the actual doors however for the framing for the woodwork on the framing and by the framing i mean these parts here and obviously the parts on the back I actually want them to be in a dark wood colour and I've had a look around and again you know I mentioned before if you're stuck with something or if you're not quite sure and making a decision or a colour or you haven't found the right thing just put that job off and do something else don't feel rushed to do it because if you're forced into making a decision that you might not be happy with later it you know it's going to bug you forever trust me um, so I searched high and low and I've got a few different wood dyes already. I've got a Rustin's Walnut, a Dark Oak and a couple of others. But the one that I saw, and again, I have seen it on a computer screen, so I don't know how it's going to look in real life, is this. Now, I know this bottle's a ridiculous size bottle again, but I got a really good deal on this. I think I only paid about £7, seven pounds for it on Amazon. Um, and this is English Oak. So it's English Oak. It's that kind of colour that they would have had in that period. Um, and although it's just been on a screenshot, the colour is like a really dark, um, if you can see that, like a really dark oak colour, which is what I wanted because that's going to contrast so nice against that cream, hopefully. So the idea is to paint the doors and then paint the door frames. Now, a lot of people, and you've probably seen videos of people doing this, there's a little pin in the bottom there that you can pull out and then you can paint the doors and frames separately to make sure you're getting all the little edges um like around the, the back of the door frame etc now I, when i've painted doors and frames i've painted them i've normally painted them the same color so that hasn't been an issue i've just painted very very lightly sanded and again when you're sanding you just need to be very very careful of these areas in here that you don't in fact i don't know if i'm going to sand them at all because i don't want to ruin that molding look 
Um, but yeah, you just need to make sure that you, you do a very light sand on the coats and then obviously repaint it um, and just make sure that you're pretty much just dry brushing these areas on the paint on any areas like this um, and the edges so that it doesn't stick when it opens and closes. So I've done that and it's been very successful and I've never had any problems with either painting. Um, certainly you won't with wood dye anyway because you're not adding, it's soaking in, you're not adding um, any depth to the actual door. So generally with wood dyes you tend not to have any issues with it sticking anyway. Um, yeah, so this is, um, so I'm going to be doing this oak, this white, um, I'm going to give it a very light sand in between coats, but because I'm going to be doing two tones on this door, which I haven't done before, I am going to be removing that pin. So we'll take that little pin out there and then that should um, make the door, obviously be able to take the door out and then I can paint both sides completely separately and then reassemble um, when I've done it at the end. Um, and obviously these other parts that you get with the door, which will be going on the inside, which just go obviously when the door comes through the wall and then these areas go here. So these need to be painted like the dark color as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a little light sand of that and take the pin out and then we can uh, get cracking with some color. Okay, so that's all the doors, um, the pins sticking out. And once you take the pin out, they come straight out. Put them somewhere safe, stick them onto masking tape. Do not put them on a table or um, somewhere where you think you will forget about them. I promise you, you absolutely will forget about them and lose them. Um, so in terms of the door, um, I literally, just goes in like that, literally pulled the pin out from the bottom and then it just came apart like that. So came apart really really easily um, so I put the doors to one side and uh, initially we're going to be looking at obviously getting these frames painted now I've just noticed as well that two of these still have the pin in the pins not actually come out there on the top so I'm just gonna you see that I'm just gonna remove that as well and this one as well has not come out so I'll just take that one out and we'll put that to one side and then obviously the top door still had that pin in um right okay so we'll begin this i did have a look to sand them but to be honest i think even with a very very light sandpaper i mean that's nothing um it's it's actually because i'm going against the grain it's actually bring, making it more fluffy so i think i'm going to leave them um, the only bits i'm going to sand are just when i get onto the main doors just the little bits around here just to make sure there's no sort of rough or, or edges or little fluffiness where that's come off but the rest of it i think i'm just going to um just stain now safety first <laughs> if well not necessarily safety but aesthetics probably more than anything if you've ever used wood dye it does get everywhere so make sure you're taking care um i've actually got a clear i don't know if you can see it but this is actually a clear plastic sheet that i got from ebay for i think it's about eight pounds and it's about a meter by one forty, which is great for crafts um, and obviously if you spill paint and stuff you can wash it off um, but certainly wood dye will go in anything any kind of wood you've got on a table any stonework so yeah make sure you've uh, you're protecting your tables um, and then the wood dye I've just dispensed a little bit here in a pot um, and yeah just just give it a really good shake first and then keep swilling it around because it does have sediment which tends to stick to the bottom although I'm not so much yeah, it does a little bit. I'm not so much sure about this because this is actually a water-based one. Um, I've not used a water-based one before. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a go and see how we get on with uh, painting these frameworks. Okay, so that's the first one done there and just a couple of things to make note of 
if you've not done one of these before have a look um, by trying it in some wood so that you know which parts that you need to paint and which parts you need to leave now I've done these enough to know um, the parts to leave so generally on the door on the back part you're leaving all these areas free because these bits are going to be against the wall all around here and then these front bits here are going to be where the moulding butts up to if you can see that um, and obviously they're not holding this together very well but you can see there and then down the other side and the same with these bits so I know all these will be on show but the actual edges and the back you need to leave free for the glue to adhere to so that they can be stuck onto that and obviously then the wall bit as well there um, but if you haven't done them before it's a good idea just to put the door frame in situ um, so that you can just gauge what areas and maybe just pencil mark any areas that are touching you know that are going to be touching the walls so that you don't need to paint them now in each box I've also got this little like a little step threshold bit and I've, I'm trying to work out where that fits I've not had one of them in a kit before so I don't know if that fits on the other side as like a little threshold um, either way it's part of the frame so I'm going to paint it in wood dye um, and then we'll get the rest of these done as well now that colour already once you've put wood dye on it tends to be that's the colour it doesn't tend to change much and like paint so that is a lot lighter than I wanted it so straight away I'm going to have to do a second coat definitely um, and I'll read the instructions on that but yeah that's that's a bit lighter than I wanted so um, we'll be going in with a second coat once we've done the first okay so these have had two coats of wood dye on now in short succession I pretty much started one end got to the other and then went back again um, and you can see it's dark but it's still quite not as dark as I want so I think I might do a third coat okay so it's time for a tea break um we've now got three coats on these so i did the initial two coats and then waited about an hour and then i've done a third coat and you can see now that that's given a really nice dark oak finish which is exactly what i wanted so i did say that wood dye doesn't normally lighten i told a lie um because i haven't noticed it before but this dye definitely just lighten so every coat I put on I thought that looks really nice and then it just lightened off so it's got three coats I do want to varnish these as well um, so I'm going to wait until they've dried completely see how I like the colour and then we'll look to get them varnished but in the meantime we need to be painting the doors so I have the doors here I'm going to remove that pin the other two pins as you know came out and um, this is the pin that's still stuck in so I'll remove that pin put it somewhere safe um, we'll just have a very light sand to remove anything like that. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's like a little stray bit here and just around these edges just to smooth any of these um, little areas off here. And then the rest of it, I'm not going to sand, I'm just going to leave it. We'll paint it and see how the grain comes up and decide then whether it needs to sand or not. Um, so we'll dispense some of that cream, take that pin out and start going with these doors. So that's done now front and back I think what I'll do now is leave everything to dry overnight and then um, tackle the um, doors again with a very very sign, fine sandpaper um, before attempting a second coat and then um, I don't know if I'll get these varnished tomorrow the frames we'll have a look at the colour again and, and decide where to go from there hello right I'm actually on the same day but a bit later on and everything's dried actually a lot quicker than I thought so these have now had a sand and a second coat and I'll be putting um, a third coat on, at least a third coat as well. And you can see how it's going to look now against that frame and I'm really happy with that. I love that two-tone effect that I wanted. And this is actually as dark as I want to get. So we are going to start varnishing. 
and I have this in my supplies which is a satin coat clear varnish which is perfect so I'm going to be giving this a good shake and using this um, and just a, a small paintbrush again to apply now I'm going to be dispensing some in a little cup the reason being that um, if you are putting varnish or anything onto a wood dye especially the dye will come off and if you're dipping your brush in the t um, in the tin then you're actually going to be putting dye into the varnish so if I just dispense a little bit in here and then it's going in and out onto that it doesn't matter because I'm not affecting this and I can use it for other projects Okay, so that's everything done now. Um, these have had three coats, uh, light sanding in between, so we will get them reassembled. Okay, so that's all three doors done now. Um, they went back together actually really easy and they open and close perfectly. So really happy with those. Um, exactly the look that I wanted with the dark wood finish and then the um, cream doors. Now I have got some brassware um, en route but it hasn't arrived yet so uh, we will wait for that and then I'll, I'll show you me um, obviously attaching those. Um, but for now we'll leave that video there. Thanks very much for joining us and see you next time. Take care.